Grand Rising, wonderful souls, and welcome to Bromins Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome, and it's really good to have you here. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, soul family. Okay, so thank you for your likes. Thank you for your shares, your comments. Thank you for your emails. My emails are open if you just want to have a quick chat. Um, but they are closed at the moment for readings. I have quite a few people to go through. If you haven't heard from me yet, but you have messaged me a, uh, a couple of times, I will be spending the rest of this week going through all of my emails and just getting back to people. If you would like to have a reading, you can email me, but I won't be responding until I have got through every single person from the last lot, if that makes sense. If you wish to email just to have yourself at the start of, you know, at the top of the slot, when I open them again, you can, but you may need to prompt, um, do a second prompt nearer to the time when I open it so that I don't forget about you. Now, please know, I always do my little ex disclaimers at the start. I think they're important. I know sometimes they can be a bit tedious or you can find them tedious, but they're needed, okay? So please know that my readings both personal and collective are for entertainment purposes only. You, you need to use your discernment and your common sense when listening to any type of tarot. If you have, um, I was going to say if you have any health conditions, but really if anything in tarot, my readings or others come up and focus on health, mental health, physical health, finance or law, and it really resonates for you, please make sure that you are actually reaching out to those who are professional in those areas and taking advice from them before you take any advice from me, spirit or any tarot reader. Um, if I say he, she, masculine or feminine, I am picking up on energies. It's really up to you and your personal story whether or not you actually assign a gender. You don't have to. If you don't want to, you can swap them around if it, if it suits better. But please do not force the story to fit if it doesn't. If it doesn't, it's okay. It just means that this message is for someone else. And as this is a collective reading, there are going to be parts that resonate and parts that don't. And it's okay if they don't. If it doesn't, leave it. Okay, and let's crack on. I thought I'd do a love reading. I don't know why I was called to do a love reading, but I was. There. Okay, so let's see what wants to come out. I've got like house music playing in my head. I don't actually know any of the words. And I kept seeing the card addiction jumping up and down. The chaser, coffee cup in reverse, paradise, hammer. Okay, and stop overthinking. Crack on. Okay, let's have a look. So, we started off the chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Does someone have the tendency to do this in relationships? Because I don't know if this is another person or if this is you. And please don't take it as me calling you out. This is just questioning. It's always good to ask ourselves questions because by doing so, we find out the parts that are hiding within our shadow. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. The one that came out next to it was coffee and coffee cups in reverse. And it says meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, uplifted, feeling uplifted in friendship. Is somebody, it's weird though, because the energy that I'm getting is um, one person is trying to connect and the other person is shutting down a little bit. Now you've got here, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, and hover, hovering. So I don't know if somebody's waiting for a message to come back or for a, a response about meeting up for a coffee or meeting up and kind of like just getting to know each other better. It could be online, in person. Um, someone may be feeling a bit clingy about this. I don't know who that is just yet. Then you also have um, paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, um, enjoying each other. So I'm not really getting any negative vibes from this reading or anything like that. I do feel like someone has the tendency to chase way too much. And there's nothing wrong with a little bit of a chase. Do you know what I mean? What person doesn't like being you know, chased by their suitor? My phone has been going off so much today. Where is it? Where is it? It's my sister again. <laughs> Ow, ow, my knee. Oh, oh, oh. Let me just message her. Okay. That's my sister. She called me earlier, but I told her I was filming. Now, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. And then it says, what, what's meant to be will always find a way. I just bashed my knee on the table underneath, on like the corner. It really hurts. So there is, I feel like somebody's really um, 
somebody wants to have like a healthy happy relationship i don't know if boundaries are being blurred but i do know that someone's very interested and there's there seems to be a shunning in some way because as i'm reading this what's meant what's meant to be will always find a way and then the paradise underneath there's pain in it like i don't know if someone's scared of rejection or someone's scared yes their fear of abandonment issue fear of abandonment issue now we also have hammer in reverse sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent and working on it now this can go one of two ways right because one is sabotage it being upside down is talking about i'm not going to self-sabotage myself anymore i'm not going to self-sabotage you know my position in or my role in any any relationship be it a romantic relationship a work rela a relationship family this one is more to do with romance but there's someone here who may be giving themselves that pep talk of i'm not doing that anymore i have to man up i have to woman up i have to he she they up and i have to you know i've got to act the way that i want to. it's almost like when you're inspired by someone else and they're kind of giving themselves that that pep talk of i want to be the person that i'm inspired by but this can also be with rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent and working on it somebody is kind of like bumping themselves up and like giving themselves pep talks and then falling down at the first hurdle and that's not a criticism it's just we are human we are spiritual beings having a human experience and sometimes that happens you've also got there is no obstacle i wouldn't face food for our love so there's someone here that may be feeling a bit nervous and they they they're wanting to reach out. Why am I being told to come over here? They're wanting to reach out. The news of a birth or a new business opportunity. So I don't know. This could be to do with work as well. Psychic ability, trust your intuition is upside down. Someone is doubting themselves. Maybe someone's doubting themselves in a collaboration. Or they feel flustered. I tell you what I didn't do, you guys. I didn't ring my lady bell, did I? I'm going to ring her now. If you have any type of sound sensitivity, please turn down your listening device now, okay? So this person may be feeling a little bit distracted as well. Pentacle with respect and auto dedication. So they want to bring in dedication. But again, I told you they're feeling flustered. You've got ground and grounding and it's upside down with earth. This person could be an earth sign. Or you could be an earth sign. That is um, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. A Capricorn, yeah. So this is looking at finances and income. It's looking at your work routine, your health and fitness, how you analyse things. It's looking at your um, your career, your fame, um, how you are seen by other people, money. These are all upside down. So I don't know, maybe this person doesn't have anything to offer, but they want to offer something. And look, you've got protection upside down. Why did we get protection and pentacle upside down with respect? Why? Why protected? Air sign, this could be an air sign wealth this person there's something going on in the background for them that's very messy at the moment because you've got wealth in reverse so this person may have lost quite a bit of money for example i went to burn myself on that candle so don't someone may have a gambling issue i don't know air sign and this is let me see if i can remember G gemini libra and aquarius aquarius imagination and guardian high priestess there's someone here who doesn't feel safe there is definitely a want to come towards someone here. But I feel like whoever it is that wants to come forward, even though they seem to have at the moment what I'm picking up, is very positive and very genuine wants or desires. There's still stuff that they have to work through because everyone likes to be chased to a certain degree. You want to know that the person that is pursuing, you know, the person that you're dating or you're romantically inclined towards is interested in you, but you don't want it to go to the point where this person is codependent, where you can't move with that without them saying, where are you going? Like getting up off of the sofa to go to the bathroom. They're like, where are you going? I'm inside the house. I'll go wherever I want. Why are you asking me? It's that kind of, it's that energy. What's meant to be will always find a way. And then you've got wealth upside down. This on the side of the chaser, what's meant to be will always find a way and wealth. That's what I mean when I pe when I read that when I read that card, I had like bittersweetness or sadness as I read it and I knew it wasn't my energy. This person may feel like um, they miss opportunities because this doesn't have to be someone from the past. This literally can be someone who's down on their luck or they're still working out the fine lines or the fine, you know, fine tuning 
they're healing because wealth being upside down doesn't have to mean that they don't have money but they cannot have, they could be broke but it's more their mindset when they're looking at abundance okay you've got imagination coming out with air this person may not realize that what they say and what they think and feel is what they're manifesting into life right now you have guardian here and familiar upside down now we had protection come out as well upside down and then we have responsibility with high priest and high priestess there is no obstacle i wouldn't face for our love this person may be in awe of you in some way um there's a lot of respect coming through but again found, you've got foundation and homeland upside down this person is they i don't think they're homeless but i think that this person doesn't um this person may make choices very quickly without thinking can i get one more card for clarity please thank you intensification and your rebirth so someone may have been going this i think i feel like whoever this person is may have been going through some sort of dark night of the soul or some sort of rebirth definitely alchemist so they were healing something this person may not be spiritual they may be but at the moment you've got here ancestors who are saying look within your shadow and they weren't doing so this person may have secrets as well that they need to to share with you there's something here about wanting to share information tell you the truth of some sort balance is upside down i knew this person's a little bit unbalanced and fulfillment and they're not happy where they are now again this does not have to be someone from the past unless it fits in your story i'm not picking up on any past energy or present energy or future energy this is just as the reading's coming through you've got to remember that this is like um, a timeless reading so i'm picking up on all all energies past present and future and it can all be happening at the same time so you've got to take it as it resonates there's something that they want you to consider they want you to consider something what do they want what do they want the collective to consider when it comes to this connection okay they the time is right for seeking new opportunities this person wants to come back they want to come back so this is a past person this could be a past person then you have shine a light on it shine some light on it as upside down let me show you that properly so you can see it oh, it's gone dark all of a sudden then you have ask for help this person is feeling let me put it here so you can see it properly this person is feeling unsafe or unstable they may be reaching out because you have a business of healing or you are in an industry of helping others because this doesn't have to be completely personal um this is a love reading though there is someone here that either wants to come back into your life i heard your good graces or your good graces i'm seeing a hospital for some reason i don't know if somebody works in a hospital and i'm getting like i don't know if it's a nurse or somebody had to stay in hospital overnight and they were really aggressive towards the staff i don't know if this person's coming this person has got a crush on someone in the hospital or they're thinking of somebody while they're laying in the hospital because you've got call upon angels is upside down if you knew this person if this is somebody from your past um there they may have had an alternative view on spirituality they may not have been spiritual they may have been very logical minded or there's something about being more mathematical and scientific um and take care of yourself max coming up with intensification now i can't tell from that card yet because it's giving me slight ominous energy that this person wants to have another try with someone if this is a breakup but i'm also getting that this person has not completely healed and that's what i got from the start with take care of yourself with intensification there may be a calling to um up your psychic protection i heard i was going to say your boundaries in kind of like um reviewing what your boundaries were like in a past relationship if you know who this person was if you are um thinking of taking this person back and i just heard someone say don't but that's not up to me um for others like the two energies that i'm getting right is now one person from the past and one person who is is they're new but they're not new 
it, it, it's almost like they have been watching someone for a while and i mean that as in i don't know if somebody has an online presence or just has a presence in the community that they're in um and this person has been following someone's progress in their career and how much they're glowing up and how much they're healing i heard and this person wants to come forward with some sort of offer but that second person with take care of yourself with intensification and high priestess to high priest you're being told to up your psychic um your psychic connection to your angels to your guides because that person seems a little bit unbalanced they may have tried to reach out to you about i don't know about coffee why am i keep getting about a coffee or about a drink or something along those lines but you've got here find a little divinity in yourself and it's upside down apologies for that disruption now what i was saying the second person because there were two energies here there's definitely someone from the past that wants to come back but for some others and i feel like that's only a small amount and i had no half half there is someone and i had a beep beep as i said half half the other half is someone who has been watching the progression of someone's career but also something to do with their self-confidence and wants to come forward with what intent though with what intent black out the media and it says um use your words upside down that's what i was getting a little bit of an unbalanced energy from the second now that, that second half of whoever this is someone who doesn't they i don't know if they feel rejected or if they feel like um it's not fair you're not helping them it's not fair you're not helping them or you're not listening to them compliments from an admirer come on now in june they may come forward in june and it says here pay attention to your work and it's upside down so this person may be trying to bring in distractions and i had so many when um this broke so when it went from the first portion of the 16 minutes of this reading into this part um my camera went all weird and then i uh, burnt my jumper on my my candle and i know that i can get distracted but that was a message for me that this was whoever it is that this resonates for this person and look a younger man the dealings or relationship with a younger man increase in material wealth or spiritual growth this person's trying to distract someone from their goals why a period of prosperity and abundance this person has alternative uh, ulterior motives for coming in it's giving me that energy of well if i can't have it then you can't either use your words is upside down and then you have blackout media they want someone out of media that's strange that is very strange bouquet in june tell me more tell me more please what else do we need to know clarity please clarity we have problems to be resolved and temporary problems coming up there is no obstacle I wouldn't face for our love or well, this person's got temporary problems at the moment at coming forward and I know this is a timeless reading but if it says June no matter where you are from now it might be June. if you're watching this later than when it's actually um, posted you could be watching this in June meaning this person's coming towards you soon or it could be that you're in February and it, you know so on so forth someone new is entering your life now, this person is this person to be trusted though because this person's giving me weird, slightly unbalanced vibes. Advice from a friend came out on its side. Psychic ability, trust your intuition. What's this one? Guaranteed success and marriage. This person wants to marry you. But I get that this person's very, um, and look too much concerned with se sexual matters, troubles and accusations. Watch out. This person is messy. That's what I was getting. They got messy energy. Pay attention to your finances. Pay attention to your finances because this person's going to want to spend money because the first part was talking about wealth and it doesn't mean that this person doesn't have money, but if they don't have a good relationship with money or with wealth, use your intuition to make beneficial, beneficial changes. Whoever this person is that's coming in, stay on the table, please, on the table, please, clarity, on the table, please, thank you, anything else, please, look at them, okay. A period of frustration lessons to be learned and then you've also got waiting for news package and letter shrewdness and resourcefulness especially in business and a period of 
frustration lessons to be learned. Now, this person, I don't know who this person is, but they wish to come in and be business partners on something. They also are very interested in your plans for some sort of promotion or money or how you impact the, the wider community around you. Um, and you're being told to be aware because there could be trouble and accusations that come along with this. This person may, I'm getting like um, an emperor vibe from this person or I'm getting at least a fiery sign from this person, even though we had imagination come out with air sign. But it's just because of that too much concern about sexual matters is coming up. Um, a chain of events that will affect your life. And I hear choose carefully, choose carefully, stop overthinking. And what's this one here i have a gift for you mm, and cupid's arrow have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting and hesitation this person has to balance themselves or they have to pace themselves receiving what you need progression arriving moving on closure issues so this person may come in with a love offer as well as a business offer and it's not saying that you can't take it it's just saying that you need to review all of the information before you do so because there's something about this person that the fact that i had to ask spirit should you trust this person i kind of sit on the fence it's not saying that this person is a horrible and that's what i was getting from the start this person isn't nasty or horrible or anything like that but i feel like the energy right now this person is unreliable this person is unreliable now you've got ask for help with guardian and we had protection come out in reverse this person is going to come forward and ask for help they want your help in some way because they can't call on their angels for some reason or they don't know how to call on angels because we find a little divinity in yourself upside down they may not be that spiritually inclined like i said so they're going to ask for help they want you to shine a light on something for them and they're going to give you a gift of some sort and it says solid foundation success with effort but I honestly feel like this person, they they take action too quickly. They may act a little bit immature or they may just be younger than you. Or there may be an age gap between the two of you. Pay attention to your work. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Just as I saw <coughs> this card. And the card says two-faced friend. And you've got advice from a friend here as well. So watch out. Whoever this person is that you ask advice on this person, they're two-faced. So they're not going to tell you the truth. That's why I was getting that you can't trust someone. It may not even be this person that's coming in because we all have ish that happens in our life and we all are on this journey of healing at different paces. I get that this person is trying. Um, announcement is coming out and you've got it again. You use your intuition to make beneficial changes. But there is a friend around someone who is very two-faced. Very two-faced. Who is it? Peace and harmony is coming out. There's something about um, <clears throat> your work and your money. And them two things going together that will bring in a lot of peace and harmony. But it, forces are working against you. Hard work ahead. There's someone here who's trying to mess with something when it comes to your career or who you're talking to or who you're talking to now you've got from last december okay so now this is making sense if someone comes in with an offer for you especially when it comes to the, a job and it's just too easy it's a really big promotion or it's a really big payout or it's a really big something and there's just no strings attached and there's nothing there that's why you're being told to use your intuition that's why it says here psychic ability trust your intuition and then we had the other one say use your intuition because if it seems too good to be true sometimes i'd say nine times out of ten it is it doesn't mean that every time it is but this one it is unsettled times need to plan ahead and then you've got fair woman dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde gray or white hair I think I might leave it there. Yeah, forces working against you. Anything else we need to know about this? Changes in your life with the moon. November. So what was November's full moon? Because there was something that was done then or they were trying to do something. In need of help, assistance or guidance. Change for the better. And a wish is granted is upside down. So this may be a forewarning also for whoever it is that's coming forward for your help. 
getting yourself too heavily involved in somebody else's life when they're still trying to fix theirs is going to end in tears is what I'm hearing. It doesn't mean that you can't reach out a hand and be helpful if you feel intuitively like it's the right thing to do. But there's a difference between, and I'm getting a lot of messages at the moment about boundaries. There's a difference between going, I'm gonna help someone out professionally, or I'm gonna give this person a piece of advice because they've asked, to going, okay, tell me all these details and let me go and call that person for you. Let me go and call up your job for you. Let me do this, this, and this for you. Because then you've attached yourself and it's almost like the more that you do that, and the more it becomes something that is ingrained into that relationship, the more it becomes an expectation. And that's when we go into that codependent energy that we got from the start, that chaser, close, you know, um, chaser in a, in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. And it just ends up with this person constantly draining someone's time. There needs to be, um, there needs to be a professional barrier, I heard, or an appropriate barrier. Because even if this person comes in and they are, say, for example, um, a romantic partner and maybe they are an option, this person has to learn, especially with too much concern on sexual matters, that they can't always charm someone just with physicality and getting, you know, getting intimate really quickly. This person is going to have to learn to grow up a little bit in that, that area um, because I'm getting that there's going to be a lot of physical attraction, but this person still has a lot of healing to do. And they may become they may become jealous is what I heard or someone around them is jealous. I don't know who this two faced friend is though. This two faced fr two <laughs> this two faced friend may be jealous. Okay, I got it out in the end. Jeez, tell me more. Romance is upside down though to soul connection. Why? Give me some clear messages, please. Influence is upside down, and forgiveness is upside down. So there's a play coming in. Who is this two-faced friend? Tell me about the two-faced friend, please. Tell me about the two-faced friend. Lastly, please. Oh, la, la. Control came through. And what's the other one? Oops. And trust. I told you there was someone trust untrustworthy and I could feel it. I can literally feel it. And you've got trust upside down. So there is, oh my goodness, just knock them all over. There is this two-faced friend, whoever this person is, is trying to control some sort of outcome to this relationship. You've got codependency upside down. So this masculine, maybe, this is what I mean, this, this and I've got masculine. It doesn't have to be a man. It can be a woman in a masculine energy. You've got healing and you've got maturity. This is what I mean by this masculine still needs to heal. There may be healing that happens. Um, I heard this can happen. As in this, if this person, when you meet this person, if it's relevant for you, you will, there's something about being very... Um, physically attracted to this person but to slow down and not to use physicality straight away because this person with maturity coming out and healing in reverse this relationship may be a healing um experience in healing the mother wound or the father wound either for you or for them or for both and you have got a two-faced friend here somebody who is going to try and give advice on how to give guaranteed success, but it's going to end up in some sort of trouble and accusations if you take their advice, effort and influence. Because this two-faced friend has been taking, they've been putting in a lot of effort to influence someone, to influence someone against you or against your name, against you, your brand against a soul connection i'm telling you whoever this person is that's coming in that's the chaser they do have still some healing to do okay don't we all but this is a soul connection this is a soul connection influence is upside down effort i'm not sure we can see it now oh, my lighting so rubbish at the moment there you go look at that let me turn you around a little bit you beaut there we go bit better now you can see the cards better mm. now i want a little bit of energy on this um the soul connection this soul connection this person from the start what's meant to be will be with the pain energy family is upside down 
and caution. And support is upside down. I don't know. If this is like an ex, this is somebody who, um, and freedom. I don't know if someone, for someone in the past, I don't know if they, if they had like an on-off relationship with someone here. Or if this is like the father or mother or parent, um, you know, co-parenting with a child of yours. This is somebody who, um, again, with that immature or young energy coming through, this person was, they may have been easily influenced into thinking something that wasn't true about you. And I heard for someone that might be why they ghosted. Because freedom here was support in reverse. It's like this person just ran away from some sort of responsibility. Yes, from some sort of responsibility towards a high priest or high priestess, right? And you've got caution here. What were they scared about? What were they scared about? Because there was no evidence towards whatever these claims were. There were none. Memories in reverse and guarded. And gifts. Hmm. Who is this cat? Who is this two-faced person? Somebody who doesn't like themselves and they don't like that you like you. Communication and chemistry. They've been blocking something. They've been blocking something. Or they've been telling this person. Um, I don't know if this um, chaser energy is somebody who has mental health issues. And there's no stigma to that at all. I don't know if they have depression or anxiety or something like that. And that's what they're working on. I'm pouring self-love into. Five of Wands to the Two of Pentacles. So where what's what's the arguments been about? Six of Wands. They've got a friend talking in their ear, giving them advice. Is this their friend or your friend? I had me in the middle. For some, this is your friend. For others, it's their friend. And for some... It's almost like there's a middleman between parties, between the two. And who's arguing about this choice that needs to be made with the Seven of Cups? A realistic choice that needs to be made. Ace of Wands, an actionable step that needs to be taken. This friend is giving them advice. They may have been saying, don't come towards this person in the collective because they're not the right choice for you. And you've got to make a you've got to make an actionable step, yeah. But now they're arguing. They're arguing, and there's temporary problems for this person. Because this emperor kind of energy that's coming through, this fire energy, has made the choice to come towards someone. They've made the choice to come towards someone. But why is this two-faced friend arguing? Why are they why are they arguing? What are they arguing about? Clarity, please. What are they arguing about? Resources. Oh. So you've got the magician in reverse. The magician is usually someone who has all of the things that they need to, to create whatever it is that they want because they have every single suit in the deck. When it's in reverse, this is either lack mentality. Again, it's coming back to this wealth in reverse. And that energy of pain of what's meant to be will always find a way. And the chaser. And this is what this person's been saying to themselves. Because they've got this person talking in their ear who is flipping two-faced. Who's Why are they doing this, though? For what reason? I want to figure out why they're doing this. I keep hearing jealousy. They don't want this energy. They don't want this emperor energy person to be coming towards the collective. They're jealous of something. They keep telling them that they don't have the resources. And this energy, I'm just going to say this masculine, okay, irrespective of gender, doesn't feel that they have anything to offer with that wealth card in reverse. The page of swords, this is about learning. It's, they've been kind of like brainwashed a little bit into feeling like they shouldn't. Um, yeah. They should give up on trying to learn new stuff. Okay, this person definitely needs to start taking care of themselves a bit more. Because this person's very, un they, they're coming across as very unhealed. The Page of Swords is, is a student. It's somebody who's like an apprentice. Someone who is, um, you know, they watch and they, they listen and they take notes. And then they practice it again themselves. Or they tell other people that as well. And they share that information. And then you have the four of pentacles underneath. And then the hierophant. The hierophant is, 
It's not just to do with marriage, it's institutions as well, so it's higher learning. But then you have the um, Four of Pentacles in reverse, which is about surrendering something. This person, I feel like this person puts themselves in victim mentality a little bit. They may have been told by other people as well, like you're useless, you can't, you can't provide anything. Oh, so what I'm getting is that this two-faced friend, this advice from a friend, may actually be an ex of theirs. Because that family in reverse with caution, this person has to be very cautious in how they connect with this two-faced person. Because if they share a child, if they share a child, and they show that they have forward thinking or that they're sticking up for themselves, this person may stop them from seeing their child, especially with family and support being in reverse, right? Stop. Oh my God. So they have been, they, I don't know if they, they're not getting to, see their, getting to see their child or they get, get, keep getting told that they're useless. And see how I'm starting to stutter. This person could have a stutter. They're being treated quite badly by the ex. I don't think they're with the ex anymore. Yeah, six of pentacles upside down. They just want to take, 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 take. King of pentacles to the two of wands. So this person's working towards what they want to offer something to someone in the collective but they know it's going to take time and we've got a page of wands it's almost like they're going out on a limb and they're like no I'm, I'm going to be adventurous i'm gonna be spontaneous i'm going to do all of these things the two of wands here though looks really scary to them because this this dude is being bowled over by these two ones and his head's come off so they want to take these steps but i feel like they're not they're not ready to, and if they do, they'll be coming forward to ask for help. And again, the advice is, even if this is a soul connection and it's a positive soul connection, this person needs to heal or you need to heal or both of you do. And maybe you don't see this. Maybe you don't see this. Because the thing is as well is this is, um, I keep saying the thing is, this is the eight of cups in reverse. This is the energy of continued effort or continued emotion steadiness with the four of cups here right now this person is in a continued energy of feeling either depressed or down or just a little bit unbalanced with the hangman coming here and they're aware of this they are aware of this this is not something that they're ignoring it's not that they're just sitting in their shadow going f everyone and not realizing that that's what they're doing they're they're hyper aware of themselves doing this and they want to get out of it and this may be the reason why they reach out because if you are a psychologist or a therapist or a doctor or um you work in any kind of sector where you do offer services to other people this may be why they're coming forward because they're like i'm not okay and i know it's okay not to be okay but i'm asking for support and you've got the hangman to the sun so they're aware of this they are very very much aware of this and they may have had a conversation or someone shouted at them is what I'm getting. This this cat, this two-faced friend person may have shouted at them and said, you need to get support before you can see your child again. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that they need to get support and that what this person is saying is the truth. I do feel like this two-faced friend person is very manipulative. Page of Cups here to the Temperance. Yeah, they're aware that if they were to come forward, but right now is not the best time because temperance being in reverse is unhealed love. This is unhealed love or unhealed wounds towards romance. The king of wands to the ten of pentacles in reverse to the ace of cups. This would end up being a very highly sensual um, connection. But I'm saying sexual, not sensual. But ultimately, with the Ten of Pentacles being upside down and you've got the King of Wands here, it would end in tears. And that's not something that you want to be investing in because you've got the Ten of Pentacles here. Sorry, that was the Nine of Pentacles, yeah. This person needs time, is what I'm getting. This person needs time. Especially if you, if you are open to that because right now you have the Ten of Cups in reverse. And then you have the Six of Cups. For some people, this isn't someone from the past. Like I said, for those who are feeling, well, this is not someone from the past because that's not what I'm manifesting. Some people are looking to get back with their exes and it is as it is and others aren't. If you're not, this is someone new, but this is somebody who is going through their own wounds and their own and strategizing ways of how they can heal. And I think they've got to a point where they're like, I actually need to go and see therapy or I need to go um, 
whatever it may be. And I know I keep seeing a hospital. I don't know if you're going to meet this person on a hospital ward or you're walking down the corridor. It could be in a car park. It's giving me, or traveling somewhere, like a premier inn. I don't know. But you've got the six of cups, which is going down memory lane. Okay, and that was in reverse. Why did I put it up? That was in reverse. So this is someone new. King of Wands and Judgment. And I'm hearing that song um, by Adele, Go Easy On Me. Go easy on me, baby. I was just a child. Didn't know the You've got the lovers and then you've got the eight of wands for others. Unfortunately, this is someone's ex coming back. And this is somebody who... um was in competition for a very long time. Well, they may have been jealous themselves of how um, how multifaceted someone was here when it came to their talents and their interests. It's almost like if you were an illustrator, you could also paint and dance. And if you were a tarot reader, maybe you were really good at um, sewing or using a sewing machine or needling or singing. And it wouldn't just be those two things. There'll be loads of other things. And whatever it is that you focus on and give your time to, you master really quickly. And this person may have felt a little bit inadequate around you. And they sabotaged this relationship. Yeah, they sabotaged this relationship. Look, five of wands is a five of um, swords. There is definitely, when it comes to... Um, someone's ex i feel like for both parties whether it's the ex or someone new this person has a lot of healing to do and it's not saying that they never will because it's a soul connection they will but it takes time and you're being told not to rush anything when you meet this person if you decide to connect with this person because some people will just be like no thank you to either of them and that's absolutely fine because you have the two of cups here to the two of swords to the tower and this is all it's almost like being very overwhelmed by a balanced, healthy relationship. And if this is someone who is new, they may not be used to having a healthy communication or healthy relationship or just aspects of a relationship where nothing is dysfunctional or that the dysfunction is very low because the other person has done the healing or is very um, emotionally aware or has been to therapy or whatever that may be. They're not used to that. And there may be times where they feel triggered or you may feel triggered if you are, if you do end up being in a relationship with this person. And please remember, being triggered is not a negative thing. If anything, triggers are our best friends. They're our teachers. They tell us where we hurt. They are, they, they highlight any wounds that may be hidden that we don't know about. Um, not having any triggers is a wonderful thing, but to have absolutely no, no triggers whatsoever, you must be an ascendant master. Why are you watching tarot? You know, you already have all the answers. Please don't put in the comments, I don't have any triggers because that ain't true. And on this on this channel, we speak truth and we are vulnerable with each other. It's n there's no space for inflated ego. And I don't know why I felt like saying that. That's for someone here. This is breaking down someone's walls or then breaking down yours. I don't know if somebody in the past was a chaser in a codependent relationship from the collective and there was a fear of abandonment issue, talking to this person may bring that up and not because they are being needy, because you've got to remember, you can flip the switch, you can flip the script because they don't have to be the one that's chasing with all of these things going on. It could be you. And that's absolutely okay. And like I, I always say, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And if it is the other way around, and this is somebody who's trying to reach out again to their ex, or this is someone new that you're you're talking to, or you just bump into this person, there may be points where um, it's overwhelming, especially with that tower coming through, and there is confusion or doubt in what you need to do, because there is the energy of either running back into the south node, into what you know that is comfortable, but is not good for you, be that your own um, mental scape of I'm not good enough, because I've been told that so many times, or whether you go forward into new territory that can be really flipping scary, but it's safe because you have the two of cups. And it may be triggering simply because, and this is what I mean by before I was talking about like a mother wound and a father wound. If there's somebody here who is secure, whether that's for you or for them, it's going to highlight places where they didn't feel secure. And where does it usually start from? Childhood. 
So they're going to be looking back at that and they may get triggered and want to run away, I heard, or you may want to run away. Anything else before I go? Let me see. And look at that. Right at the top, communicate clearly is coming out. Wow. It's up to you. Exactly. It's up to you. And for someone here, you need to let go. There's something that you need to let go of. Now, anything else we need to know, please? It's perfect timing and communicate clearly. And that is it. And meditation brings answers. And that is irrespective of whether or not this is a connection that you want or a connection that you'd rather side, you know, sidestep. It's perfect timing and you need to communicate what it is that you need or what you want or what your boundaries are. I don't think we need any more, do we? Ask your angels is upside down. Somebody's not asking their angels why. Because you've got not the right time because someone here is overthinking something and that came out here with overthinking stop overthinking stop overthinking someone needs to meditate and ask especially if you've already connected with this person whether you are the person who is the co-chaser or the person who's being chased there's a need to stop breathe and think about your choices and whether or not you are acting from trauma from the past which is you know it happens and there's no judgment from me or whether this is you know your intuition that you you are leading with um i'm going to leave it there i really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know if you are new to my channel and this resonated i'd love for you to hit on the like the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content and when i post and if you are a returning subscriber soul family hearts kisses i love you guys um please know that there's a couple of days left on my um go fund me for the sri lankan dog and cat rescue center which is in the east coast of sri lanka it's the only dog shelter in the east coast of sri lanka the entirety of the east coast of sri lanka there are so many street dogs that are left or abandoned or they breed into populations that can't be controlled and um in some parts of sri lanka um the traffic and the driving can be wild and many street dogs get um, knocked over and then left to die because um people don't have the time to take an animal to the vet they don't have the money to take an animal to the vet and if it's not their personal animal then why would they um this rescue center um the lady who created it is connie her name's connie um it's her life purpose she's been there for decades and she provides shelter for many many street dogs she has 150 dogs in her care at the moment and 50 cats um, and every day she goes out onto the street with a, a, a small amount of people um, to feed these street dogs, to give them medication if they have vast injuries or even small ones, so that she can take them into um, mainland um, Sri Lanka to a place called Kandy that's quite far away so that they can get medical um, their medical care needs cared for. Um, she also provides food and she it does a, um, a sponsorship for families who are interested she also does a sponsorship for um, families that have children that um, have sp special educational needs um, and she will pair animals with those children um, specific animals with those children so that the benefit is not just for the animal it's also for the child and it's almost like um, it's animal therapy but for both and that sponsorship they cover the medical expenses they cover foods vet travels everything so that that animal can have a home and the family can learn how to take care of an animal which i think is amazing anyone that would like to donate um, I have put a GoFundMe link down below. It's just underneath all the links for the different meditations. We started off, me and my sister started off with the goal of trying to raise £400, which is about $450 US dollars. And to date, we are at 3500 which is amazing. We haven't told Connie just yet. We want it to be a surprise. Um, and the Sri Lankan rupee is doubled, tripled, quadrupled, I'm not actually sure, to the US dollar and to the British sterling pound. So it means that it's going to go really, really far. It means that she can pay off. I mean, it's seven hundred pounds, which is about seven fifty dollars um, each month just for travel to the vets, just for travel to the vets. And that um, rescue center, it survives on donations and the very small amount of money that Connie has. Um, 
it's life changing what she's doing absolutely life changing if you would like to be involved please have a look down below please know that my readings are closed at the moment if you email me now i will not respond because i have many many different people to get through to and i also have um executive dysfunction when it comes to um life lots of things um if you email me and i've already shut the emails i won't look at the emails until i'm opening them up again please know that if you do decide to email me just know that you'll have to send me a prompt email on the day that i open them up again so you're still at the top of the list otherwise you get lost in the sea of all the other emails please know that i will never reach out to you via whatsapp um i will never send um I will never look for you in the comment section saying, you know, I'm, I'm drawn to you, beloved. Please come to me for a reading. The only way you get a reading is by emailing me. The only way to pay for a reading is through an invoice that I send to you personally. Do not pay for any readings through PayPal because I don't check my PayPal. I don't check my PayPal, which means that if you pay for a reading and I've had a couple of people emailing me going where's my reading from last december i paid you and blah 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 and it's like well where did you pay me because i didn't give you an invoice oh, i paid you through paypal why would you do that when i've told you not to do that and then i have to scroll back months to see that they've paid money without having a conversation with me if you just put money into my paypal account it will get it will disappear until you let me know and then i will refund you but please know that if you do that you void being able to have a reading with me because it's a healthy boundary that i've put in and i say at the end of all my videos which means that anyone that's doing that is listening to that and ignoring that and um for us to connect and for me to read i don't want to read someone's energy that is like that okay i love you all um i think that was really long-winded but I think I've said everything. I love you all. I hope you have an awesome day, evening or afternoon or night, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome. Bye.